that's a mind focus yes i am microphone recording hello guys and welcome back to the channel i'm chevon beckford i know a lot of filmmakers tend to shoot log profile on their cameras especially when they're making professional videos or even youtube videos we tend to shoot in log so we can get the best of our colors and the best dynamic range in this video i'm going to show you guys how you can speed up your color grading and color correcting workflow with using conversion lots i am using the panasonic s5 so i am using vlog so this tutorial will be most direct if you're a lumix shooter but it works for anyone who shoots in log the steps are technically the same so stick around and let me dive right into this video color grading can be a real pain if you don't know exactly what it is you're doing and even for professionals it can take a long period of time sometimes it's the most tedious process when it comes to video editing using conversion lots can help to cut your workflow and your time maybe even below half the time it would take to color grade a log profile from scratch and as such conversion lots are quite a game changer within the video editing space due to this factor a lot of video editors and video creators tend to shoot in normal or standard profile on their camera which may sometimes restrict them from being more creative with their colors because when you shoot in log profile you will have a flat image which you can color grade to your liking and give it a look you want to give so shooting in log gives you a more flexible blank canvas to color grade in your videos and with the use of conversion lot you can spend less time trying to give your videos that look that you want and spend more time on maybe adding some vfx or telling a better story while editing your videos there are a ton of conversion lots online especially from people selling lot packs on various websites even creators making their own conversion lot packs for canon sony nikon panasonic fujifilm olympus you name it for specifics i will be using a vlog conversion lot from vlog to 709 from gamut and i will be comparing it to the original panasonic conversion lot which is found on the panasonic website to see how they fit my workflow and how they look generally on my videos if you guys are gaining any knowledge from this video hitting a sub and leaving a like on this video will mean a lot to me go ahead hit that subscribe button and that like button okay so i'm now here in premiere pro 2023 cc and i have some footages which i will be testing the gamut vlog conversion lot on some vlog footages and also the nicest vlog conversion lot offered by panasonic now panasonic has a wide variety of conversion lots for vlog to rec 709 but the nicest seems to be the closest one for the regular standard or normal profile you would get when shooting from the camera as i mentioned earlier all these shots were captured on the panasonic lumix s5 in vlog now the first video i have over here is a video of me on a boat with lots of water around the sky up there and some land over there to the left now i am going to enable the gamma lot right down here on this adjustment layer and this is what it looks like from vlog to rec 709 with the conversion lot offered by gamma and i like what is going on here it is not crushing the shadows in the dark areas and it is not blowing out the highlights it's a bit too bright but this is nothing you cannot fix with basic adjustments i'm going to turn that off and enable the nicest lot from panasonic and here you go the Panasonic nicest lot is a tad bit too dark but it is still good for a base plate when you're going to continue working on your color grading and color correction as you guys can see over here over your lumetri scopes neither the whites highlights or the blacks shadows are clipping so we are still in the good area with both conversion lots the gamut conversion lot not clipping and the nicest 
from Panasonic not clipping. So both doing a good job here, even though the Lumix conversion lot is a bit darker than the gamut lot. Let's move on to the second clip. Now this is what the second clip looks like with the Lumix Nicest conversion lot. It's a tad bit dark as this seems to be something with the Lumix conversion lot across all vlog footages or maybe it was my settings, who knows. And this is what it looks like with the conversion lot from the gamut. I don't like when my videos are a bit too dark because you tend to not see exactly what is taking place in the dark areas of the video and you might lose out on some details. I like my video bright and visible. So currently I'm kind of preferring the gamut conversion lot even though the Lumix conversion lot is a brilliant base plate to start your color grading process. Moving on to the next footage and let me enable the Lumix conversion lot. Beautiful, but a tad bit too dark. Now the gamut lot. And this is exactly what we were seeing from our eyes because we all know it's very bright outside. The sun is the brightest thing known to man, so it's going to be bright even if the sky is overcast. Then let's move on to another clip. These are all both clips, but I also got a clip of an animal so we don't get biased with this comparison we have a variety of different scenarios to test these conversion lots so we have a fear enough comparison and a fear enough conclusion in the end so here I captured a video of a wild goat I stumbled across on the road and it looked interesting so I took out my camera and recorded the goat yeah I'm the goat and this is what it looks like with the Lumix conversion lot this is pretty amazing it's performing pretty good and this is what it, this is what it looks like with the gamut conversion lot pretty amazing they're quite similar if you ask me they're doing an amazing job now I also got a vlog footage talking headshot of me earlier today and I'm going to try the conversion lot on them. Now this is what it looks like with the Lumix conversion lot. A tad bit too dark for my liking but it's okay. And this is what it looks like with the gamut conversion lot. This is perfect. This is perfect for my workflow. My face is properly exposed. The shadows are showing. And over here on my lumetroscope, nothing is clipping. If you look up here on the RGB panels, all the colors are close to each other. Nothing is over saturated over here. And this is a good base plate to start my color grading process. Now let me check the Lumix conversion lot. And the red is a bit too high up here. And I look a bit magenta. Now this is a little out of my taste because I am already colored and I don't want too much saturation in my skin tone. So I would prefer the gamut conversion lot for my workflow, especially my talking headshots for YouTube with using Panasonic Vlog. Let me move over now to another talking video. This is this video by the way. And let me compare. Now I used the gamut conversion lot for this video to test how it would work with my workflow this is what it looked like with just the conversion lot and this is what it's like with some random conversion that i found online for free just for some comparison and this is what it looked like with the panasonic conversion lot now the panasonic conversion lot is a bit too dark for my liking and we've seen this trend throughout the video i don't know if it's something that we have to compensate for when exposing when capturing the shot but i captured this shot pretty exposed it wasn't dark i think it was around between plus one to plus three so i wasn't underexposed but this is a bit too dark for my liking 
I like how the gamut lot handled this conversion because my face is properly exposed the background isn't really blown out apart from the sky which is a sky of course and this just looks more natural my skin tone looks correct with this conversion lot and then you have this random free one I found online with which I really don't know what is taking place here <laughs> I wouldn't use this at all now let me move on to show you guys how it would look if I color graded the gamut video and how it would look on my talking headshots and this is my color grading for one of my talking headshot videos as you guys seen in the beginning of the video and this is what it would look like on the Lumix conversion lot. Now as you see my skin tone is too much towards the magenta side and the shadows are too dark so I would definitely choose the gamut conversion lot for this kind of workflow. I couldn't work with the Lumix lot it would take too much work to correct this kind of video. Move on to another clip this is me holding the camera up so it would be more properly exposed with the sun shining on my face this is what it looks like with the gamut conversion lot and let me show you guys what my scopes look like over here nothing is clipping i don't have my highlights blowing out or my shadows crushing it's all balanced gamut perfect and then my color grade this is what it looks like with the lumix this is the Lumix conversion lot. It looks okay, but a tad bit too dark as seen before. And then my color grade. This is way too dark. This couldn't work for my workflow. So I would definitely go with the Gamut conversion lot for my workflow. All right, now for the verdict. What do I think of the Gamut lot? Now the Gamut lot to me personally, it's tad bit better than the Lumix conversion lot, the nicest from Vlog to Rec 709. Well, not really a tad bit. It's better than the Lumix nicest to Rec 709. And I mean, the Lumix nicest lot is a free lot. What, what exactly are we looking for from a free conversion lot? We just want to convert from Vlog to Rec 709 and it's free. It gets the job done, doesn't it? But what the Gamut lot does, it tweaks your vlog file and give it a, a, a how do I put this an oomph over the Lumix nicest conversion lot that little extra oomph it makes it a little brighter because the Lumix lot lean towards the dark side it goes more to the shadows the blacks while the gamut lot balances everything it goes towards the whites and highlights and even down to the shadows and blacks so it's not skewed towards one side of the spectrum also we all know lumix videos lean towards the magenta side of stuff the gamut lot fixes that with correcting skin tone so my skin is not red i am not a pink monster when i use the gamut conversion lot it balances my skin well and i was surprised by that because whenever i shoot with the panasonic lumix s5 and use the nicest vlog to rec 709 lot i always have to touch that tint slider and pull it from magenta a little more to the green and i know sony users have this issue as problem because sony s log 3 has an issue where the footages look green it has a green tint for some reason and they have to push towards the magenta side of the spectrum so it's opposite for us Lomix compared to the Sony shooters. I don't know how it is for Canon, Nikon, Blackmagic and all the other camera brands but I know that fact for Lumix and Sony. So the nicest conversion lot from Lumix it gets the job done as I mentioned earlier but the gamut makes it easier for me to color grade my vlog footages when converting from vlog to rec 709 it takes out a bit of steps that i would have to take when color grading with the nicest lot from panasonic lumix and so i would choose the gamut lot just because of that extra oomph and removing those extra steps i would take when color grading my vlog footages if you get what i mean and the normal profile is kind of limiting if you record normal 
profile or standard profile on your camera, you will notice that you clip way earlier when color grading versus when you record in log profile, which takes a longer time to clip and you will retain more in your shadows and your highlights. So even though it is 10 bit, V-Log profile is way better with color grading and color correction than normal or standard profile. And that's the reason why they have V-Log in the first place. So, and Gamut doesn't only make conversion lot for Lumix. You guys can go and check out their website. They have conversion lot for Sony, Canon, Nikon, Blackmagic, all those other vlog well not vlog all those other log profiles you can use gamut's conversion lots to convert your footages from log profile to rec 709 and get that in your videos i am not paid by gamut they're not giving me any money to talk anything good about their product they just sent me the lot asked me to try it out and see if it fits my workflow and it did it actually made my workflow better because i don't have to take some steps I used to take and it correct some problems that I had with the previous conversion that I was using. So I am now an affiliate for Gamutlot by the way, they made me sign up for their affiliate program. So if you want to go purchase some lots from Gamut, you can use the link I have in the description. It will be of no extra cost to you of course. So you can go ahead and use the link in the description to check out Gamut and also hit the subscribe button yeah while you're at it before you go down to the description to click the affiliate link hit that subscribe button so conversion lot can speed up your color grading or color correcting workflow by a ton instead of you sitting there and converting your vlog footages to what it would look like in rec 709 you can just drop on a conversion lot then drop on your creative style it's that easy so go ahead and stop color grading your vlog footages or log profile videos from scratch and get a conversion look it will save you a lot of time and in the filmmaking and content creation industry time equals money and i know i said it before but i i really like how the gamut conversion lot looks with the color grading i have on my workflow it it just fits right in without any extra tweaks compared to the nicest lot it just it looks right it looks like me <laughs> i will be adding the gamut lot throughout my workflow for future projects future videos to see how well it holds up and i will be giving you guys an update in the future but so far so good it's really good so far i would recommend it again guys i wasn't sponsored by gamut they just reached out to me and said if i wanted to try some of their conversion lot from vlog to red 709 in my workflow and if i wanted to be an affiliate i wasn't paid by them to make this video and they won't be reviewing this video before i post it this is just me giving my honest opinion so even this video that i'm capturing right now this is captured in vlog flat log profile this is before adding the conversion lot and this is after adding the conversion lot from gamut and this is the original panasonic nicest vlog direct 709 lot so which do you like more which do you prefer we are now at the end of this video if you like what i explain in this video or found it knowledgeable hit that subscribe button and that like button i will be leaving my gamut affiliate link in the description of this video if you want to go ahead and purchase some lots from their website they have lots for canon sony you name it you can go ahead and use my affiliate link it will be of no extra cost for you it will only be giving me a percentage from each purchase as a creator i will also be leaving a link for the panasonic conversion lot from vlog to rec 709 if you're a lumix user I'm Siobhan Beckford and stay tuned for other videos like these. Signing out.